Today we're gonna do another classic traditional men's haircut with scissors. We are gonna start the haircut, we're gonna apply water to the hair. Section the hair and make a guideline in the middle. We are cutting in a horizontal position in a 90 degree angle. The front part is longer, continue in a 90 degree angle in a horizontal position. Make the guideline all the way to the back. Comb the hair to the right. Level the guideline with both sides. Continue leveling the guideline all the way to the back. Comb the hair again to the right and level the guideline with the right side of the top of the head. Continue in a horizontal position in a 90 degree angle. Continue leveling the guideline with the right side of the top of the head all the way to the back. Now comb the hair to the left side and we're gonna level the guideline with the left side of the top of the head. Continue in a 90 degree angle in a horizontal position. Continue leveling the guideline with the left side of the top of the head all the way to the back. We're gonna start with the first lateral section. We're gonna use three fingers touching the head. Continue in a vertical position in a 90 degree angle. Continue cutting all the way to the back. We are using three fingers touching the head. We are connecting the guideline on top with the first lateral section. Continue with the second lateral section. We are using two fingers touching the head. Use as a guideline the hair on the top. Connect the guideline on top using two fingers touching the head all the way to the back. Continue with the third lateral section. We're gonna use two fingers touching the head using as a guideline the hair on the top. Continue with two fingers touching the head.
comb the hair up against the pluck to grab the hair and make it easy for the cut. Continue connecting the guy line on top. Also connect the area of the sideburn. You can grab the hair with your finger to trap the hair hitting on the back of the ear. Continue in a vertical position in a 90 degree angle. We are gonna continue with the area of the neck. We are going to make a guy line in the middle that we are going to connect with both sides. Connect the guy line we did on the neck and we are going to connect that guy line with the guy line we are going to do in the ear area. Also level the guy line with the sideburn. We are gonna apply water to start making the edges. Use the comb to flatten the hair away from the skin and make it straighter for the cut. We are gonna start with the sideburn area. Use the comb to flat the hair on the skin. In this area we are gonna comb the hair to the right and we are gonna cut going up. Continue with the ear area. Flat the hair on the skin to make it easier cutting the hair. In this area avoid cutting more than you need. In this area we are gonna comb the hair to the right, cut going down. Make a guy line in the center of the neck that we are gonna connect with the guy line we did on the right side. Use the comb to flatten the hair away from the skin. Continue with the left side. Apply water and continue with the first lateral section using three fingers touching the scalp. Connect the first lateral section with the guy line we did on the left side of the top of the head. Continue with the second lateral section, we are using two fingers touching the scalp and we are going to connect the guy line we did on top. Continue in a vertical position in a 90 degree angle all the way to the back. Continue with the third lateral section, continue using two fingers touching the scalp all the way to the back in a vertical position in a 90 degree angle. Connect the guy line on top. In this area comb the hair up against the pluck to make it easier grabbing the hair for the cut.
also you can use your finger to grab the hair. Connect the guy line we did on the center of the neck with the left side. Make a guy line close to the ear area. Comb the hair to the left and cut it. Connect the guy line also with the sideburn. Apply water to flat the hair on the skin and organize it for the cut. Start with the sideburn area. In this area comb the hair to the left and cut going up. Continue with the ear area. In this area comb the hair down and cut. In this area comb the hair to the left and cut going down. Connect the guy line with it on the center of the neck with the guy line with it on the left side. Proceed with the shape, we're gonna use the straight razor and a transparent lotion. We are using a transparent lotion because the client has a mold on the center of the neck. Comb the hair up and start first with the mold area. In the left area, comb the hair to the left and protect the hair with the comb. Shave going down. Continue with the right side, comb the hair to the right and protect the hair with the comb and shave going down. Use this part of the comb to flatten the hair away from the skin. Be careful shaving this sensitive area. We are gonna make a guideline on the center that we are gonna connect with both sides. We decide to refine this area, we're gonna cut in a 45 angle degree going up. Continue in a 45 angle degree going up. Extract the hair hidden on the ear area and continue cutting in a 45 angle degree going up.
now we're gonna do the hairstyle of the hair. We are using a white tooth hairbrush to keep the volume of the hair. On the sides come the hair to the back. On the back come the hair going down. On the top we comb the hair to the right. Extract the hair with the brush to create some volume. In this case we are using crane with matte finish. Use your finger to give it a natural effect. This is the final result, this was a classic traditional men's haircut. I hope you like my video, thanks for watching and see you next time. These are some of my previous videos, if you like them hit the like button and subscribe.